NC State coming off of a three-game win streak clash with UNC Chapel Hill, who recently suffered a loss against Florida State. Chapel Hill started strong, winning a touchdown early on in the first quarter. Chapel Hill were offensively consistent, moving forward down the field. Chapel Hill retained possession for over 10 minutes of the first quarter. Their dominance began to show as they went up 14-0. A fumbled catch in the end zone described exactly how NC State's game was going. Place kicker Grayson Atkins for Chapel Hill hit the ball off the upright. This looked like it could be a potential sign for the Wolfpack as they surged forward. With the injection of Ben Finney at quarterback, he threw to Emeka Emezu who ran for 42 yards to put some points on the board for the Wolfpack. To redeem himself, Atkins hit a 40-yard field goal and it was good. UNC's turnover game improved dramatically and NC State suffered. Sam Howe's pass complete to make the game 23-7. Now 24-7 after Atkins' extra point, UNC looked relentless on the attack. Only needing to run one yard, Williams for Chapel Hill increased the score. NC State continued to look a little bit confused as they were unable to progress down the field. With over a minute to play in the third quarter, Chapel Hill continued to increase their score. In an attempt to respond, NC State managed to put forth another six points. As the fourth quarter started, Williams for UNC added to his total as he scored a 27-yard touchdown. The extra point good again from Chapel Hill made the score 48-14. to The Wolfpack were not done yet as Bailey Hockman threw a 30-yard pass to Anthony Smith for the touchdown. The final score in Chapel Hill, 48-21 Chapel Hill win. Convincing win from Chapel Hill but a positive for NC State is that they now have a replacement for Devin Leary while he remains injured.